Tom Cruise is looking to boost the summer box office again. His new Mission Impossible movie is out. ABC's Chris Connolly explains why Hollywood is hoping that it's the start of a rebound. With sizzling stunts like this one spurring adrenaline-fueled expectation. Tom Cruise's Mission Impossible Dead Reckoning Part 1 has hit theaters at last. In Hollywood, rapturous word of a 98% rating on Rotten Tomatoes. The fever dream possibility of a $250 million opening weekend. Oh, very exciting. Adventure, action, daredevil stuff I would never do. But it took some work to get here. Remember Cruise, the producer's impassioned COVID-era plea to his crew? I care about you guys. If you're not going to help me, you're gone. Okay? Its opening hopes to reverse the box office versus mega budget issues that have been experienced by some recent franchise releases. There's really this sentiment right now in Hollywood that, you know, rising tides lift all boats. And so Tom has even taken to campaigning for his competition. So he did on social media. Dead Reckoning will start the countdown to Barbieheimer. That's July 21st, the date that will see the debut of both Christopher Nolan's How He Built the Bomb epic Oppenheimer. This is the most important thing that ever happened in the history of the world. And Greta Gerwig's eye-poppingly pink Barbie with Margot Robbie. Get that Barbie! And Ryan Gosling is Ken. So cool. AMC saying 20,000 tickets have already been sold for a makeshift Barbie Heimer double feature. Will it be enough to fend off those summertime blues? Ethan, did you make it? Are you okay? Not sure about the other ones, but the Mission Impossible. But it's just the first, so that means there's more to come. It's Tom Cruise. He's going to go so. big. And speaking of our own superstars, <laughs> look at there. There's two of them right there. Oh, David. Yeah. Every time. I know. So we're, not, we're not anything like Tom Cruise, <laughs> if that's what you were expecting. Well, everyone is hyped up about Amazon Prime Days, but we have several other deals to tell you about in our deals of yes. the day. Yes. Oh, I'm excited for that. Also, sip and putt. You're looking for a good time. Oh, yes. Something to do with the family. Brett is here. And what makes your place stand out? We're open late to beat the Texas heat. Um, so important. It's a realistic 18-hole putting course, so. Open till midnight. And open till midnight. Yes. Last tee time. All midnight. right. Sounds fun. Okay, and Elizabeth Martinez with NACO 210 Mexican Eatery is here to save you time on making mole. How? We have a pre-made mole. We take about 20 hours to make this, guy. So it's a from scratch, almond-based, all the natural ingredients, Molly, that you just add water, five minutes, what? and you get a beautiful homemade. And look how beautiful that looks. Ooh, that and we're going to show you, yes, an easier way to present enchiladas. All right, and we're giving you a sneak peek at the Magic Theater's newest production, The Lightning Thief Hurts Percy Jackson Musical. It's a great time. Plus, it's a fun, free film event for you and your favorite Fido. Plus, you get a free swag bag. We're going to tell you where and when. That and much more coming up on SA Live. All right, it already feels like the triple digits out there this lunchtime hour. Get ready for it to feel closer to about 110 later this afternoon with an actual air temperature forecast high of about 104 here in San Antonio. More heat continues for the foreseeable future. We'll monitor those heat index values over the next couple of days there as well. And I'll leave you with this because oh. I think this is <laughs> fantastic. KSAC Connect photo out in Hondo. Nice little pup there on a bed of ice. Seems like a pretty good, pretty good deal right now. It says chillin'. He's chillin'. He's chillin'. Place <laughs> to be. Place to be downtown too, because we got mutts and putts. And mole. And mole. And mariachi. There you go. <laughs> we got everything. I say live is full and it starts right now. Celebrate San Antonio. Coming to you live from historic Market Square. This is SA Live. Hello and happy oh, oh Wednesday so close. That We're was having so fun. Close from our very own <laughs> Happy Gilmore. <laughs> Our Ted photographer, Ted. Oh. Nice try. He had three chances. Three yes. chances, Ted. It's a 
Okay, well, let me try again. You're on jet you, you still did better than I'm going to do. <laughs> okay. <laughs> oh, good <laughs> afternoon. I'm Fiona Gorstiza. Yes, I was going to say, she's Fiona Gorstiza. <laughs> Pull a micro stage, right? <laughs> yes. Okay, so we want to know, what is your favorite way to beat the heat? Oh, I, that picture with the dog on the ice was so cute, by right. the way. I mean, he's, he's beating the heat that way. But right. yes, we want to know. Go online now and vote for your favorite. We have a few up on screen. So water park, shopping, video games, oh, watching the movies. Watching movies in the, in the lead. Swimming pool. Really? I would think it would be something. Okay. You think you, this is you know? 12%. Yeah. That's great. Wow. Okay. <laughs> Let us know. We'll see which one comes out. Yes. On. So go online now. Vote, vote, vote. All right, summers are long in South Texas, speaking of the heat, so you need a lot of options for fun. Mini golf is great for the whole family, but this place made sure not to forget about the grown-ups too. I love that. Brett Schallenberger from Sip and Fud is here to show us why they might be your cup of tea. <laughs> Ooh, See this what summer. All right. Now we were just looking in that video and were, were those people playing mini golf at night? They were. Okay, because you're open late, right? We're open way late, so our last tea time is midnight through the weekend. Wow. So uh, That's you're huge. up there as long as you get there before midnight, we uh, will accommodate and you can finish your round. And when the sun sets, it's a great time to be up there, roughly about 8.30. Uh, temperatures drop probably 20 degrees. We're blessed with a nice breeze up there. So, uh, yeah, again, you sit high, don't you? Yeah, we sit very say, high. It's a uh, really nice course. Oh, there we go. Drinks. <laughs> Cheers. Yes, all the fun. <laughs> so, Fiona's going to give it a try here. Huh, try it right. <laughs> I can't really step onto it. I don't want to irrigate it with my heel. So, I'm just going to okay. carefully step here. Any tips? <laughs> straight back, straight through. Because you, you have a background in golf, right? Oh, tell us a about that. Bit. Yeah. So, what's your background? Once what? upon a time. Oops. Yeah. I don't know if it, I can do that. I hit two at the same time. Is that what made you want to start this awesome spot in your Braunfels? Yeah, life brought us full circle. So mm -hmm. uh, we got back into the golf game and uh, followed Tiger Woods' uh, concept with pop stroke. And we had a little hill country flair to it. So uh, we got the look that we want. And uh, we're under lights. We have drink service. So there's really no reason not to come see us. Oh, it's a lot of oh, fun so for all close, ages. Fiona. So close. Would you say your place is a lot different than other places? Because it looks it looks pretty different. Woo. Yeah, we're a realistic look, and uh, we offer a full 18 holes. And uh, as you see, we have multiple colored turf. So yeah, because that means something, right? As part of like the champion style. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Which we are definitely not even close Listen, to champions right now. I think now. I'm going to do this. Okay. <laughs> Don't mind but me. What does the white represent? What does the blue represent? Oh my gosh. White is an actual bunker. There's no penalty if you get into that. Uh, if you do hit into the blue turf, uh, we have that in play like four holes. It's a one stroke penalty point oh. of entry. So <clears throat> played as you would play it on a traditional golf course. Uh, course is very challenging. We have three different tee boxes, um, accommodate all categories from beginners to kids, the whole way up to a championship level. Oh, oh <laughs> that, that should that have gone good. in. <laughs> that was dead so center. Close, so close. We'll blame the greenskeeper. <laughs> okay. All right. All right we'll switch and um, as far as if you, because you guys have only been open since January, so what is kind of next for you? Because you do have drinks, but there's more coming, right? Yeah, we have a full bar coming. We'll hopefully be set up by the fall. But right now we have a small selection of uh, beers and seltzers. Uh, we do run drink service to the holes, so it keeps everything flowing, keeps it comfortable for you. Um, so again, you know, we, we have a, a holiday path coming in the fall. Oh, nice. Yeah, it'll be per be nice. season. Mm -hmm. Fall temperatures will be a lot better. Um, but we are under lights, so come see us later in the day. Okay. And, uh, and if somebody would like to go, what do they need to know? Do they need to make a reservation? <clears throat> uh, reservations are suggested mm -hmm. uh, on the weekend, but, um, you know, walk-ins are welcome as well. So. You can call us on our number, Google us up, and uh, we're working on our website, and we're on social media platforms, so everything that you see there from Facebook to Instagram and TikTok, find us there, follow us, and uh, Lily's handling all that, so she's up to date with everything, and 
We're going to have some tournaments coming, so a lot of good fun. So keep up with you on family. social media, right? Yeah, for social all media updates. is very important. Perfect. Okay, we got so close, Fiona. I so close. Know. All right. For more information on Sip and Putt, just snap that QR code right there on your screen. You can also go to our website, salive.com. You can click the As Seen on SA Live tab, and that will also take you there as well. So much fun. Yes. We definitely need practice. <laughs> practice. Yeah or drinks. Yeah. <laughs> okay, <all right>. oh, oh. <laughs> <laughs> Looking for a family friendly outing inside the air conditioning? You still have time to take in The Lightning Thief, the Percy Jackson musical at the Magic Theater. Yes, and I got to get a sneak peek. So much fun. Take a look. The Lightning Thief, the Percy Jackson musical is already a hit here at the Magic Theater and you still have time this summer to come take in the best seller as it comes to life on stage. <laughs> Daughter of Ares, God of War. You got a problem with that? To prepare me, pulverize new me. Joining me now is Anthony Runfola, artistic director here at the Magic Theater. So excited to be here. Thanks for coming out today. Yes, how excited are you to bring this action-packed summer blockbuster here to the Magic Theater? We are so excited to have it here. It's full of gods and monsters, epic battles, sword fights. I mean, it's got everything. Yeah, so a little bit of dance, a little bit of fighting, kind of all combined together. All combined together, <laughs> and, a, and, a, and a rocking score. I mean, it's just yes. gonna blow the doors down, so. Oh, I love it. it's been pretty popular, right? Yes, yeah, so it sold out <laughs> opening weekend and the trend continues, so better hurry and get the tickets if you want to see this. And what I love is the Texas ties here. Tell me about that. That's right. Rick Reardon, who wrote the uh, Percy Jackson series, uh, was born in San Antonio, went to Alamo Heights High School, and was an English teacher at St. Mary's Hall when he was writing The Lightning Thief. So uh, it was born here in San Antonio. Isn't that amazing? It's fantastic. Wow. I love that we're able to share that as well here with the community. Now, there's some great lessons in this as well for the audience, right? Always family friendly. Tell me a little bit about those. Right. Well, with the with the Lightning Thief, one of the things that Rick Reardon wanted to do was show how, you know, ADD, dyslexia, which his which his uh, children had. So he kind of created Percy as a hero for his kids. Um, uh, can can also be a strength. So in the story, Percy has dyslexia, but it's because he, he can read Greek. You know, that's like his, his natural language. And he has ADHD, um, which, you know, he can't sit still because those are his battle reflexes. He's always ready and he's always watching. So sometimes you think uh, what you might think is a deficiency is really a strength. I love that he highlights that, accentuates yeah. it in like, a positive way. That's right. And yeah. so many people can relate to that. All right, team, let's talk strategy. Ermy's kids are fast. Luke? Actually, that's a stereotype. Foot brigade, got it. Rover! Cedars are creatures of Pan, god of the wild. You know what to do. Yep. Hide in a tree. And what about me? I don't know my talent yet. I have a special plan for you. Go to the boys' bathroom and stay there. It's your first day. We don't want you messing this up. So let's talk about the special performances that you have. Here. That's right. So we'll be doing a sensory friendly performance where we'll be turning down all of the special effects and the lighting effects and everything, leaving the house lights on for folks who, uh, you know, might need a different, more relaxed performance. And so it's a great way to come in. We leave and limit the, the audience size to about 100 patrons um, so that so that it's comfortable for everyone. You can get up and move during the show if you need to. Mm -hmm. um, it's just to make it more accessible. We're also doing American Sign Language interpretation um, so that for for the deaf and hard of hearing, they also um, uh, have a way to come and experience the show. Got it, and what an experience. I got to see a little bit of a scene, a dance scene. Yeah. Um, I know these actors and actresses are working very hard, right? They are, indeed. Yeah. Do yes. you have a favorite scene or moment here with them? I think my favorite <laughs> is put you in your place. <laughs> Got it. Yeah, yes. Yeah. <laughs> awesome. All right. Anything yeah. else you'd like to add? Uh, come on down. It's a great, you know, you can, when you come to Magic Theater, uh, it's not just the show. We're right here in Hemisphere. And so there's an entire park to enjoy. There's restaurants. There's the splash pad. Um, so you can make a whole day of coming downtown and enjoying the show and, and the park. A truly magical experience. Indeed. Right. All around. All right. Thank you so much. If you want to come check out this action-packed mythical adventure worthy of the gods, the show runs through August 6th here at the Magic Theater. Head to our website, salive.com. Click the As Seen on SA Live tab or scan that QR code on your screen for more information.
And don't forget, you can make a full day of fun out there at the at Hemisphere because there's a splash pad, play area, all the great restaurants there too. Absolutely. Lots of fun. Still ahead on the show, want to turn up the flavor on your barbecue? We've got a recipe for a simple but tasty sauce you need to try. Plus, when did July become such a big shopping season? You might know about Amazon Prime Day, but there's a lot of places offering big deals over the next few days. We'll share a few in our deal of the day. But first, they serve the dishes you know and love, but they're anything but average. We check out a Mexican restaurant putting their own twist on the traditional. It's next. Well, if you're looking for a good meal, nothing beats family recipes passed down for generations. But don't be fooled, these dishes are anything but average for your of anything but average of your typical Mexican <laughs> food. So delicious. Yes, Liz Martinez, owner and chef at Naco 210 Mexican Eatery, is here to talk food with us. That looks amazing. Thank and you. you put a twist on one of the traditional dishes, right? Yes, so basically what we're taking, it's my mother-in-law's recipe of the mole. We made all the process and make it together and into a powder, so it's an easy, fast way to fix it on this life. You know, we're always running. Uh -huh. Nobody has 20 hours to make a mole anymore. <laughs> so you that's going like, to save a ton of time. That's going to save you a ton of time. Still have all the natural flavors that you're supposed to. And then we stack them the way my mom makes them. So basically, we're taking the best of both of our families, the Estradas and the Martinez, and we're putting it together. She's going to make it right there. So it's so fast. You have oh. boiling water. You just add a little bit of the powder and uh, it does not have any added fats so the fats are only going to be for the almonds and the cashews and the walnuts mm. and uh, the sesame seeds so you it's going to be very easy on the stomach versus a lot of moles that you have on the market mm -hmm. that you can have like a big statue of, of fat on the top okay. well this one's not going to be like that yeah we'll okay. start doing we're these. going to start putting the tortillas so we're going to do stacked up queso, uh, enchiladas they're basically super easy and uh, You'll save your fingers by not rolling them. <laughs> I was going to say, you have to start doing this instead of rolling them. They take so long. We'll flip them, we'll flip them and then yes. do the chicken. Well, because depending on where you are, whether north or south in Mexico, that's kind of how it's presented, right? Yes, well, every house makes different types mm -hmm. of enchiladas. My, uh, I've seen enchiladas with nothing inside, just flipped, and then the salsa, and then uh, the actual chicken or the cheese on top. So, you know, there's not a wrong way to make them. <laughs> my, mom, sure. my mom does it like a casserole just like, to save herself some time. See, you know? there you so go. I'm, I'm going to distill this idea too next mm -hmm. time. I it has it. a very beautiful presentation. It you does. still get the tortillas super warm and delicious. Mm -hmm. And then once you put enough salsa on top, uh, you're going to start cutting it and just using the rest of the salsa, mi mixing them with the enchiladas. That's the way we present them at the restaurant. So nice, the presentation. And look how easy that sauce came together. Oh, I know, look at that. And so yeah. just a little bit longer? Yeah, a little bit longer. Okay. Well, she's okay. done doing this one. Okay. So if you see the start, it starts to thicken, and yeah. the thickening, it's only with the almond paste. So it doesn't have, it's a vegetarian mole as well. The oh, almond paste. Nice. Okay. okay, so yeah. what are some of your other like popular dishes? Chilaquiles is our best seller. Like mm -hmm. chilaquiles, it's well known. Everybody loves them. They're getting way more popular every time. So yeah. Oh, look at that. Yes, it has some photos there yeah. so and you guys have your your new location but you also from your original so you've, you've continued to grow truck. right uh, uh -huh. we have the uh, brick and mortar that opened a year and a half ago inside yes. the gorgeous yes. property of Los Patios yes. it's beautiful we're surrounded by 100 year old trees it's gorgeous right next to the creek uh, and something new is coming yes. Yes. Okay. So okay. another location Hey, we're going to tease you. We're not giving you away all the information, okay. but it's not a brick and mortar, but it's not a mobile. It's somewhere in between, Wait, and it's closer okay. than you guys think. Okay. okay, and you have some specials at NACO 210 right yes. now, right? Yes, right now for all our amazing viewers for KSAT, we're going to be doing buy one breakfast taco. We'll get one breakfast taco free uh, all days on the week, so Wednesday to Friday. So we can help you also with the economy because you have the kids at home and they eat all your refrigerator. Come, we'll feed them for free, basically. Okay. I will be there. Yeah. <laughs> okay. So am let's I doing stack, this right? Yeah. Let's stack one up. One she more. was not stingy on the chicken for sure. Oh yeah. No, no. I like what you did there. <laughs> you can then. just put one more, I guess. Right, yeah, otherwise, yeah. it's gonna be super tall. Okay. And that salsa is ready. Okay. So we'll. So we transfer you want me to the help plate. You with that? Yes, please. Okay. And everything you make is from scratch, right? All the ingredients, everything oh, is from scratch. Just that. put it right there. Here we go. And she's going to be pouring the mole on top. 
I love that your families have combined recipes and you bring the traditional ones and then you put a little twist. Oh, yes, and that. basically keeping it simple. It's just humble food made from scratch with a lot of love. What can go wrong with that? No, what can go wrong with that? I agree. Just, oh, just yes. sprinkle a little bit of cream. That's fresh cream. Okay. And then we have cheese and cilantro oh, yes. and onions and then we will be done. Okay, we'll do cheese first. Okay. All right, thank you so much. Thank For more you information so much. on NACO 210 Mexican Eatery, all you have to do is snap that QR code on your screen or visit our website, salive.com, and click on the As Seen on SA Live tab. Still ahead on SA Live, it's a movie night for dogs and their people where you can enjoy this fun event all about pups and the freebies you can get just for going. And next. Does your child want to learn how to sing or play mariachi music? It could take them to some incredible places like one young local singer and Guinness world record holder. We have details on an upcoming camp. It's next on SA Live. Welcome back to SA Live. Mariachi Music has taken one young local boy to some incredible places, meeting celebrities, singing in front of arena-sized crowds. And if your child might be interested in starting their own musical journey, there's a camp that could help get them started. Gino Rivera, musical director for the Guadalupe Cultural Arts Center and Mariachi Azteca de America, and Mateo Lopez, Yay! singer and Guinness World Record holder, join us to talk about an upcoming summer mariachi camp. What an intro. <laughs> yes, <laughs> welcome. Welcome. All right, Thanks, so do kids need to have any experience for, for the camp? For our vocalists, no. If you, if, uh, you don't have to have any experience to join the vocal portion of our camp. Um, uh, if you're an instrumentalist, we do ask for at least the year, two years of experience. You can find all that info on our website. But we do offer classes all year long, in, uh, all ages, all instruments of mariachi, uh, any time of the year. And what kind of things will these kids be able to learn there? At the camp, you're going to experience mariachi history, you're going to experience music theory, uh, you're going to experience a, an array of mariachi repertoire, um, and of course you're being taught by, by you know, legends of our, of our music. And so, Mateo, what do you love about mariachi music? What I love about mariachi music is how the instruments actually play mariachi, like how they play on two and how they play on B. And also, I just like what the songs say mm -hmm. that people write. And when you're in front of a crowd and they're just looking at you, how nervous are you now? Because you've been doing this for a while. Do you get nervous anymore? No, I'm still not nervous. Amazing. Uh, wow, I'm nervous. I'm nervous, I know, I'm nervous right now, <laughs> next to you. <laughs> okay, and you got to meet The Rock when you uh, sang for the uh, XFL game. Uh, what wow. was he like, aside from really large? <laughs> <laughs> he, he, he was tall. Uh -huh. He also was really cool because me, my sisters, and all my brothers watched this movie called Fast and Furious that, oh, that he's and we on. Know it. Yeah. I believe it has a few movies out. <laughs> <laughs> that's, so that's what you knew him from, right? Yes. And then to see him in person, how did you feel? Were you nervous for him? No. no look at him. He's <laughs> never nervous. I'm going to get you a job on SA Live here. And do you know why is it so important to continue to teach mariachi music? I mean, we see Mateo growing and continuing to do well, but these young students that maybe want to learn. Well, this is the music of our culture, mm -hmm. and it's, you know, it's up to us. Um, musicians here in San Antonio to continue that and to instill the, the essence of mariachi in the youth of today. Yes. Right. And Thank Ma you so Mateo, much, you before we go, what advice? I know you practice this one. What advice do you have? Because there's other kids that be watching you and you're an inspiration. What do you have for them? So what I have for them is that they always follow their dreams, that they always chase their dreams, and that they ask their parents to help them with all that they need to do. Yep and also respect other parents because yeah. it's very important. Yes, and they help to guide you. Thank you, Mateo. Thank you, Gino. Thank the you. 7th Annual Mariachi Summer Camp is Monday, July 24th through Thursday, July 27th from 9 a.m. to 4 p.m. at the Guadalupe Cultural Arts Center. For more information, head to our website right there on your screen. You can click the As Seen on SA Live tab. All right, still ahead on the show, if you've been needing to shop, there are lots and lots of deals out there right now. We'll try to point you in the right direction depending on what you're looking for. All right, 
right next, we get a special performance from Guinness World Record holder Mateo Lopez. Don't go anywhere. Welcome back to SA Live. Now it's time for a special performance from Mateo Lopez. Here he is with Silieto Lindo. The 7th Annual Mariachi Summer Camp is Monday, July 24th through Thursday, July 27th from 9 a.m. to 4 p.m. at Galleria Guadalupe. And for more information, just head to our website, salive.com, and click the As Seen on SA Live tab. Still ahead on SA Live, free movies, giveaways, and lots of dogs. It could be the perfect night out when and where you can join this fun pup party. And next, Amazon Prime Day isn't the only place you can find big deals. We check out what you can find at some of the other summer deal days going on right now. You don't want to miss this. You're watching SA Live. Welcome back. It's time for our deal of the day. Most of us know Amazon Prime Day is happening now, but there's lots of other big shopping events going on right now. Walmart Plus Week is going now through Thursday, and they've got great deals on everything, but they have great discounts on back to school supplies and clothes. Already? My goodness, Target Circle Week is going on now through Saturday. We saw great deals on video games, Apple products, Barbies. You can even get more deals if you're a Target Circle Rewards member, like a free $15 gift card when you spend $50 or more on household supplies. Kohl's summer cyber deals run through today. They've got some great buy one, get one for a dollar deal on clothes. And Best Buy Black Friday in July go through today as well. And we saw some pretty good deals on laptops, some even 40 to 50% off. For more information, just snap the QR code right there on your screen or head to our website, salive.com. Just click the As Seen on SA Live tab. Well, the Dog Guide San Antonio is your one stop for everything dog families need. Whether it's finding dog friendly restaurants, stores, daycare, parks, and more. This weekend, they're hosting a fun and free pup 
spectacular putty. Spectacular, love that. Yes, Amy Lynn Johnson, founder of the Dog Guide San Antonio, is here to tell us more about the Fido Film Fest. I love the alliteration there and the thank freebies you. that are coming with that. Welcome. Yes. Hi, thank you for having me. Who do you have here? <laughs> this is my little guy, Texas. He is very oh. eager for a treat right now. He's there been go. waiting patiently. Yes, he's yes. been so good today. Yes, the Fido Film Fest is our summer long series, um, free outdoor movies every third Saturday. So mm -hmm. we have two more coming up, one this Saturday and one next month in fun. August. And it's a fun time to come out with your dogs, with your family, um, for a cool shaded evening out at Legacy Park. And then nice. when the sunset happens and the sun goes down, then the movie comes up. Yes. yes. And besides cooling off, when it finally yes. gets dark, yeah. there, there are freebies too, yes. right? Yeah. So starting at 7 o'clock, um, our registered attendees, it's free to register and free to come. Um, we'll have 50 swag bags for the first people who come on <gasps> nice. out. So with those, we have some free dog toys from Wolf and Whiskers that we'll be handing out, just like the one down here yeah. that Texas is ignoring at the moment. <laughs> He's staying at the Where are the treats? Where are they? <laughs> we'll also have, for the humans, we'll have some free ice cold sparkling water um, nice. from Rambler nice. and um, lots of different <laughs> flavors and we'll also have a mini market so we'll have oh, local fun. dog friendly businesses where you can go and shop support local and spoil your pup and yourself beforehand too. So nice. Yeah. What, what made you want to start the dog guide San Antonio? Yeah so when I adopted my first dog Terry she's at home right now um, I felt like I was rediscovering San Antonio from a completely new perspective. I've lived here for over 25 years but navigating where I could and couldn't go with a dog um, and finding a vet and all mm. just all the things that you need right. and all the fun things that you want to do with your dog. So, so true. <laughs> I decided to create the resource that I didn't see and um, people responded to it and it's grown since then and now we host a number of our own local events as well. And yeah. besides those events, real quickly, you recently helped raise dog food donations. Yes, right? yeah, we hold an annual pet food drive for Daisy Cares. They're the pet food program out of the San Antonio Food Bank and over the years we've helped raise over 60,000 pounds of pet food with the help of the community so yeah yay all right cool. well let's play some dog movie <laughs> trivia yay. and you're going to want to get out your phones there at home and scan what pops up on the screen so okay. that you can play along too yes it's right. about it's about to happen and he's ready texas is ready <laughs> texas is ready <laughs> so are we he's like any minute now look he stopped he's like come on <laughs> come on come on any minute. texas we need you to do some tricks Ah, here we All go. Right. All right. Okay. So, what kind of dog was Air Bud? Oh, I know. Ooh. I know. No. Oh. Golden Retriever. Oh, what? Golden Retriever. Who Golden Retriever? <laughs> <laughs> Good Golden boy. Retriever. Somebody said Chihuahua. Interesting. I mean, Texas is a Chihuahua. I bet he can yes. play Yes. Yes. I just remember the movie. Yes. <laughs> okay. Me too. Let me closer. Okay. <laughs> Golden Retriever. Yes. The part of Bud was played by a mixed breed Golden. Okay. Why? Oh, see, this is the kind of trivia <laughs> that would be stored in my tech. Yes. <laughs> okay. All right. Quentin Tarantino directed which of the following dog titled films? Mm. The Dogs of War, Reservoir Dogs, Junkyard Dog, <laughs> Mad Dog, and Glory. Reservoir yes, Dogs, res yes. Yeah. <laughs> Texas is a little tricky. Texas he's, is thinking. Uh, is he looking at himself? Yeah, he's the like, wait, like, I chose why Reservoir am I dogs? huge on the screen? Yes. <laughs> okay, the, the cult classic film starred uh, Harvey Keitel as Mr. White and Tim Roth as Mr. Orange. It's a good movie. <laughs> <laughs> I tell, excuse me. Um, all right, uh, this is uh, featured in the 1992 film. What is the name of the dog owned by the Newton family? <laughs> all right, let's see. Yes, I'm going to oh, agree. Oh, the Newton, I love it. Yes. <laughs> That's what we're Classic. showing this weekend. Oh, yes. perfect timing. Yes. <laughs> Wonderful. Beethoven, yes, my mom always wanted to St. Bernard. <laughs> yes, Beethoven is uh, St. Bernard in this popular movie of the same name. Yep. Okay. It's a good movie. Mm -hmm. Lots of drool, right? Yes. All right, next one coming up here. Which of these animated classics released in 2012 was directed oh. by Tim Burton? Okay, Bolt, Hotel for Dogs, Frank and Weenie, A Dog's Purpose. Frank, Frank and Weenie, right? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Sounds Tim Burton, right? Yes. Bolt was really good. Yes. Yeah, I love how we can vote. This is yes. cool. like, the first time I'm seeing this. Too. Okay. All right. I'm there impressed. we go. Featured the voices of Catherine O'Hara, Martin Short, and Martin Lando, and Charlie Tahane. 
Yeah. All right. And Texas was just checking himself out on the I TV. I know. Right? That's why he was like, what's He's happening? like, I see a giant dog. <laughs> that handsome dog right there. Sweet boy. All right. Don't miss the Fido Film Fest this Saturday, July 15th at Legacy Park from 7 to 10 p.m. The first 50 guests will receive a swag bag. This event is free and open to the public. For more information, just go to our website, salive.com, and click on the As Seen on SA Live tab. Thank you. Hey, I say live. I'm Malik. I'm the tasting room lead at Coleman Cellars, and we're about to show you how to make a delicious, kicked up summer chicken. So stay tuned and come eat with us. Say live, yes, it's grilling season and not just stepping outside. Okay, if you want to try some new flavors, our friends at Coleman Cellars are bringing the cookout to the vineyard. And they're making me hungry. Today they've got a great recipe for a homemade barbecue sauce so you don't have to wing it next time you're <laughs> cooking chicken. Take a look. SA Live, Chris Cobb, co-founder of Coleman Cellars. I'm Malachi, I'm the tasting room team lead, and we are making chicken. We always start with the cheers. Good to be here with you today. Mm. We'll talk about this more in a minute. Mm -hmm. This is a perfect time of year. Make use of the grill. Rub is gonna be super easy. I've got a, a little McCormick's here. This is a, a salt, pepper, garlic uh, based blend, and we're just gonna liberally sprinkle this on the chicken. If you didn't make a mess, you didn't make chicken. That is the way it is. So it doesn't take a lot, just a nice even coating, but then we're gonna kick it up. A little bit of smoked paprika. Sure. Paprika. This gives again, just this nice, rich, smoky flavor to it. So how far in advance do we need to prep this? You know, you can do this uh, when you're getting your grill set up. The name of the game on this is we want about an hour from start to finish. You're gonna get it going, you're gonna cook your other sides, in an hour you're ready to plate and have dinner. I like that cook time. It's time for the grill. So what do we got on this grill? We've got ours set at 325 degrees, but really anywhere from 300 to 350, you're gonna do just fine. Okay. So we're going to do skin side down to start. Just kind of put it right there on the grill. Ooh, can you hear that? I love that sear sound. That is what flavor sounds like. It sounds like a tagline. It does sound like a tagline. Now remember, when you're looking, you ain't cooking. That also sounds like a tagline. <laughs> it is. Uh -huh. So keep the grill shut. We're gonna let those cook now for about 15 minutes. So that rub was so easy. Is that what makes it special? What's really gonna make this barbecue all the better is the sauce and the glaze that we're gonna end up with. I love a sauce. And here is our secret recipe. We're gonna start with... Uh, was that Austin's own? This is Austin's yeah. own barbecue sauce. This is a great company, local here in Texas. Mm. We're then going to add two tablespoons of a maple syrup. Ooh. Yeah, this is crown maple syrup. This is a cinnamon infused maple syrup, which again, gives us this richness of flavors. But then the secret ingredient, the thing that most people aren't thinking about is just a little bit of soy sauce. That's excellent. Yeah. So Malachi, what's your wine recommendation? I mean, this is a really versatile dish. Um, I currently am drinking our Estate Carignan. It's a light-bodied, chilled red. Uh, it is our first attempt at a partial carbonic maceration, which is a fancy word you can look up later. <laughs> Cheers, everybody. Mm. But that little bit of spice is gonna make it go really nicely with uh, any rosé. Tell me, what else is going on at the Estate? Well, uh, everyone asks me all year, what's the best time to come out and take a look at the vines? And this is it. This is the window of time where everything is peaking. We are going to start harvesting in the next couple weeks here. But right now, the grapes are on the vine. You can get a close look at them. We also have our uh, Monarch Butterfly Way Station garden in the back and in the front. So just come hang out with a glass of wine and a field of butterflies and a lovely vineyard. Perfect. All right, so it's been in there for about 15 minutes. Is it safe to open up this grill? Oh, it smells so it good. It smells really good. Oh, man. So we're going to... Hold on. Wait, wait. What is going on? <laughs> this smells so good. Why, hello, Michael Call. Hey, hey guys. What's up? <laughs> what are you guys doing? We're, we're barbecuing some chicken. We're kicking Whoa. it up. Perfect summertime grill. This sounds great. I can't wait to eat. How does that look like to you, Michael? It looks better than Fabuloso. <laughs> we just flipped the chicken over. 15 minutes, skin side up. Then we're going to apply the graze. Okay. Woo! <laughs> Come back in 30 minutes. Okay. Look at that char. Oh, oh, oh. oh, I cannot wait. We're gonna take a little little brush and you're gonna liberally apply the sauce onto the chicken. I don't know if y'all can hear the sizzle. Uh-huh. I love that sound. 
Okay, so it's been eight minutes. Uh, can I can I do some flipping? <laughs> yeah, please do. So okay. we're gonna go ahead and flip back to skin side up. Perfect. Oh, that skin wants to come off. It does. Okay. And then again, we're going to do one last layer of our special uh, sauce. This smells too good. Can we eat it now? <laughs> yeah. So over the last eight minutes, the, the sauce is tacked up. We've got a char. Look at that beautiful color. I think we're done. All right. Are you ready for your plate? You we got your are. Plate? I got a plate here. All right. Here we go. Perfect. Oh my goodness. Beautiful. Look at that. An hour, start to finish, fresh off the grill. This is a barbecued chicken that is kicked up. Wonderful, savory. Well, you can find the recipe right now on salive.com and don't miss the grape expectation <laughs> <laughs> wine making class at Coleman Cellars on Sunday, July 23rd. Yes, I it's an it. entertaining and interactive class that teaches all about harvesting. And of course, there's an exclusive wine tasting. For more information, go to our website, salive.com, click the As Seen on SA Live tab, or just scan that QR code on your screen. Tomorrow on SA Live, it's all fun and games where you can play classic pinball machines and beat the summer heat with refreshing drinks. Plus, how to get the most out of your summer flowers. It's tips and tricks from the pro on how to keep your blooms alive. That's tomorrow, 1 o'clock, right here on SA Live. All right, we asked you earlier, how do you beat the heat? And there are the choices on the screen. What's winning? Yeah, watching movies. How about that? I agree. I concur. <laughs> yeah, stay inside of the AC, right? <laughs> yes. Yeah. Scan that QR code, <laughs> play along, and see how it shakes down. But I think that's going to be the winner. Yeah. All we'll right, see we'll you see tomorrow. tomorrow.